keychains where I'm gonna put them on the pads, which just adds a little bit of spice to it. Was a disaster. I ruined three of them. Went to a garage sale and I found a brand new closet made size to your shelf. through enough because let's open it and then I'll show you why. Um, this is for a new product that I want to do and they are water bottle pouches with DTF prints on them <laughs> because if you guys saw a couple videos ago, a couple couple videos ago, I did some like mom type uh, decals on one of my gang sheets and it was smaller than I anticipated and so too small to put as a pocket um, tee. So I was like, what if I get this and do it on it? But when I was running, I just thought like, how am I gonna avoid melting it? But now that I'm looking at it, I think I can. Okay, let's just get them out. I got third. I got 13 of them <laughs> and I am so keep dropping things because not only did I get 13 of these, sir, I need these bags, so definitely touch them. Um, Kitty, Orange Kitty obviously is working against me and Asher, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Uh, and then I got 13, let me organize myself, 13 of these adorable little keychains where I'm gonna put them on the bags, which just adds a little bit of spice to it, right? I'm excited for these. Okay, but here's the thing. My heat press, I can't use on it because of the zipper. The zipper will melt it. And so what I was thinking, Cricut makes those mini little crickets, but they're so expensive for such a little thing. And I'm like, well, I could use my iron, but then I'm like, I don't, I think the, the base is too big. So what I did is I bought Timu iron. It's so tiny, which will be perfect, I hope, for this. We're gonna find out though, because, oh, this is so cute. Why is this so cute? How is this gonna work? This doesn't feel like it's gonna work, but you know, you never know. And it does have a little outlet plug, which is great. <laughs> How hot does this get? I couldn't find anywhere on the listing about how hot it got gets. And nowhere on the box. So we're going to see if it works or not. So anyways, we have 13 of these. We have 13 de I keep calling them decals, uh, but heat transfers. And then we should have 13 of the little pens. I wish they would have put these in a little bag that I did not. Excuse you, I need the I need the bags. Do not eat them. So I'm gonna get off here. I'm going to turn the iron on. We are gonna test one out and then I'm gonna shower because I am disgusting. I'm so disgusting. Okay, little iron, absolutely not. Um, big iron, absolutely not. This was a disaster. I ruined three of them. Are you serious? Three of them. I'm gonna attempt one more time with, I'm gonna try to finagle my actual heat press and see if I can figure out a way to make it work, but uh, that will be the last one I ruin if that one gets ruined, and after that, no more of even attempting this. Very sad, because in my head it was super cute, but I could think of a different way to get the same, a different route to the same solution, maybe. But oh, then, no. Immediately, immediately ruining things. The hot bubba. Here, go check something else out. Go elsewhere. Oh, good morning. I have me and this destruction down here. We have a few things we need to do today. The plan is, number one, we have two boo cups going out. I sold my first Etsy purchase, and of course it was one of the boo cups. And I have another TikTok order of one. Um, I'm getting pretty consistent with getting these cup sold, which is really nice. I'm already getting excited about the design I want to do for Christmas. So 
Um, that's gonna have to wait though because I need to, one, organize this room. If you can't tell, I went to a garage sale and I found a brand new closet made five tier shelf, right? One, two, three, yeah, five tiers. And it was such a good deal. And not only that, at the garage sale, I and the garage sale was like a divorce sale. <laughs> So I think all, a lot of the ex-wife stuff was there. I did get a Steve Madden scarf, brand new for a dollar, but I also got a, uh, it's called something flyer, radio flyer, radio wagon fly, radio flyer wagon, um, whatever. It's a wagon for not only obviously my baby, but also um, for my vintage shows and craft fairs where I can transport stuff. So that was such a good find. That was only $20. And the shelf was 40 so I spent $61 total because of the scarf. Um, but yeah, love I love garage sales. I think we might get a Goodwill because what I need to find are some heavy weights for my canopy that I ordered from Walmart last night um, at like 11.30. <laughs> it was late and I think it, it was, I needed one. It wasn't just like a on the web purchase. Um, but it was on clearance for $50 so hopefully that works. Um, you never know when something's that cheap, especially when like, 10 by 10 canopy tents are pretty on average 150 to like 250. So when that comes in, I'm gonna have to practice. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just start the cups now because I want to get those to the post office um, before his nap. So during nap, I know, and he's pretty grumpy. During his nap, I need to do some of my part time job. So. vendor show festival I have in two weeks um, and some weights to hold down the canopy. It's a long shot, probably not gonna happen, but I figured we will check. I also wanted to go to Walmart to return some thread that I bought that I hate. We're sticking with bro thread or breath thread. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, superior quality. And then we have to go to the post office no matter what. So that's our um, absolute is the post office. <sighs> Let's hurry up because uh, this little bean ain't doing so hot this morning. Just got here, dropped my stuff off. Hope we find something. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you guys what I found. I'm excited. I'm saying it now, we need trash bags, yellow rice, ketchup and mayo. I hope we find that. Hopefully I remember. Well, I did log in to do work, but I'm still not getting access to the, uh, what do you call it, uh, like a program that we use to do uh, application reading. So uh, I'm going to have to wait on working. Hopefully it will be up by later tonight. 
I'll just email them and see what's going on. So what I need to do is finish. Yesterday I spent hours editing and I used my new computer and so it was perfect. It was beautiful. It didn't uh, freeze on me. Everything was fast. But what I was not accounting for is that I'm just not fast anymore with editing. Like it still took a long time. I was expecting it to take like no time at all. Um, but when you're editing hours of footage, it's just hard. And I'm not, I'm used to editing like half an hour of footage. So I need to just like brush up on my techniques. But right now I need to get on my old computer and get some of my files off um, to transfer to my new computer so that I can um, put in like my intro. And I'm filming a new one, but I don't have any of my files of like photos or um, videos so that I can put into the intro video. I'm using Canva for it. So if you like it, if you like this, because you've seen it by now, um, please let me know. Or if you're like, that looks dumb, also please let me know and I will <laughs> change it. But Canva had a lot of different options and uh, it's just something I never expected to have that kind of stuff. I paid someone, if you've ever seen I think I've uploaded a few times recently my flower intro and outro um, and like marble I think in the background. That was from, is it Fiverr or Fever? Fiverr? I paid someone like five bucks to do that. Um, so Canva has it for free <laughs> and dare I say much better. No offense to that person. I loved it for what it was like back when I got it, which was like oh, eight years ago probably. Uh, it was wonderful and five dollars is a deal but now like you have it kind of sucks for people that used to make money on those things because you have a lot of free things at your fingertips and maybe those things were at my fingertips back then but i didn't know how to get them so i'm telling you if you are a youtuber or other uh, social medias uh canva has a lot of free templates for you to like fill your stuff in here's the adult t-shirt version it says apple butter festival so that's one of those in Oxford, Ohio. I just think it's adorable. I'm thinking of putting this on a really dark charcoal gray t-shirt. And then I have the kid one. This is gonna go on either some onesies, but I'm thinking maybe toddler size, maybe toddler size t-shirts. I need to see what I can find that matches. Um, because this is the, this is the biggest I could fit on my gang sheet in the middle section. So that's why we're going with like younger instead of like i don't know school age kids and then i have these are just random so i won't even show you this because those are just for my own personal use um this i had extra room that's why i did that this is the kid version of the letter ones we're just doing an oxford and then i have the adult one right underneath it which is the exact same and my battery is dead so we'll be back at some point. I'm to finish the day by showing you what we got from Goodwill. We have his little vacuum, which I don't know if I showed you guys yet or not. We also have some things for the office, this little organizer I'm gonna use for my DTF transfers, this little piggy that I'm gonna somehow use her vendor shows I'm showcasing things. This is for my office. And then, oh, P.S. Walmart. I did go in and get the things I needed, minus the mail. I realized we already had it. For Mama, I found these Girlfriend Collective leggings for $4.99, and they look brand new. They smell disgusting. They smell like someone that wears natural deodorant and really spicy, and it smells really gross, so I need to wash that ASAP. And then these Lululemon <laughs> shorts. And they are, I just put them on. I thought they were gonna be low rise, they're high rise, but I did not realize they're like only an inch on the end seam. They're literally like wearing underwear. If I had high waisted underwear on, that's what they look like. They were only $3.99 though. Um, but yeah, I look stupid in them. <laughs> so I'll wash those, see if maybe, I don't know, someone wants them. <laughs> maybe they'll go on Poshmark, who knows. But I'm gonna end the vlog here because I need to get ready to work out, love my outfit. Thank you for watching, and this probably will end the vlog total. Bye!